very much. I'm very excited to be here today. Um, as you can guess, I'm going to talk about some of the exciting things that Bristol Myers Squibb is building on top of the Amazon Cloud. Certainly, everybody wants to speed the time or reduce the time for deploying server environments. Um, we have a very large internally hosted grid compute environment. We're hoping that we don't have to keep adding servers to it, so we'd like to extend that capability into the cloud. Um, we, overall, we are following a, an asset reduction strategy. We also know that for our users, we're going to be hosting research data. So uh, we have challenges about what we can do hosting in the cloud and gaining the necessary internal approvals for being able to move that type of data externally. So when we think about how we're going to get data in the cloud, we, we had to decide on an architecture that was going to be secure. So what we did in this space was, right at the beginning, before we even hosted anything in the cloud, we built a dedicated encrypted VPN tunnel to, Amazon, to the Amazon gateway. The second thing we did was we took an address, an internally managed IP address space, and we went to Amazon and we configured what they call a virtual private cloud. The VPC isolates these environments from external and otherwise public Amazon customers. Uh, on top of that, when we build a server in image, we don't spin up the public Amazon AMIs uh, from the huge catalog of thousands. We build our server environments locally. We secure them. We qualify them with our internal scripts. We bundle them up, and then we load them into our AMI space in the cloud. Because of the types of data that we're hosting, if we spin up a server environment in the cloud, we uh, attach EBS volumes, and we always encrypt those EBS volumes. The first thing that we build on top of this architecture is what we call a self-provisioning portal. You're going to log on. You're going to see a dashboard. That's going to tell you the instances that you're the owner of. From the, from the dashboard, you'll be able to start. You'll be able to stop. You'll be able to terminate. Uh, the last thing that we do in the portal is we don't want our users just spinning up random server instances and leave them running all day long. So we've adopted what we call business hours cost model. So we define that as Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, and turned off on the weekends. So that's actually a very key piece to what we do in putting some governance around this process and keeping our costs down. The second capability I'd like to talk about today is something that we've developed for our PK scientists. These are a group of 40 scientists, and what their job is is to run clinical trial simulations internally. It's a very compute-intensive process. So if you were to run these internally, 2,000 jobs submitted in the queue, he's going to take 60 hours to get these jobs completed. If he just simply opens up the web page, throws the same 2,000 jobs into the cloud portal, he's going to spin up 256 servers, 2,048 cores, and he's going to finish the same amount of work in 1.2 hours and he's not going to bother any other scientist who's trying to get their work done. This all gets done at a time savings of 98% and a cost of $336. And what that translates in, especially this is a, a, some summary notes on a pediatric clinical trial that was, was run a few months ago. We can reduce the number of subjects in the clinical trial from 60 to 40. The length of the study is, is reduced by almost a year, and the cost savings is, is rather obvious, as this is a very expensive part of our business. Because of the compute capacity that we're able to derive from Amazon, we can now hand out dedicated compute environments to our PK scientists. As a result, they can, instead of being able to run hundreds, they can now run thousands of clinical trials to prepare these optimized, optimized design runs. Uh, so once they have a, a maximized the clinical trial, the time and money savings is obvious. But probably what I think the most important factor is we're using fewer number of subjects in these trials. We're optimizing the do dosing levels. We have higher drug tolerance and safety. And at the end of the day, for these kids, it's fewer blood samples. So with that, I'd like to say have a great day at the Amazon Summit. Thank you so much for listening.